Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is a love reading for the sign of Capricorn. This is how does he or she feels about me reading for Capricorn sign. This reading, it has no timeline. There is no time frame. Um, I'll just put a special title on the video. And if you're drawn to click the video Capricorn, then I hope and I pray that there's a message for you here today to help you out with your worries, uh, with your worries, concern, and... Um, uh, worse and concern with your surrounding your love romantic relationship okay this is for the capricorn sign how does he or she feels about me for capricorn sign no timeline no time frame what are the message please i've shuffled your card universe spirits ethers please what are the message for capricorn sign how does he or she feels about me for capricorn sign The star card in reverse, you might be dealing with an Aquarius sign. The magician in reverse, feeling feeling um, there's no hope, um, hopelessness, um, like um, surrendering. Um, so... I felt like Capricorn. So this is two energy, all right? This could be your energy. This could be the energy of the person. Um, one of you is surrendering. One of you is not giving up. So this person, whoever sits on this energy, is not giving up. could be you. It could be the person that you're linked with. The other person is totally uh, the opposite of this energy. Because this is marriage. This is commitment. This person, the Knight of Swords, is rushing back to fix the commitment all right and um they're rushing back you know it's it's a it's a it's a it's a knight of sword is one of the fast moving you know it's a knight you know it's it's riding a horse a fast a rider horse and it's charging towards fixing this commitment while the other one I don't felt like he's left or she has left already but just she's just or he's just feeling hopeless she's feeling like there's no um she's a bit down she's um pessimistic she's um she doesn't she or he is not living but she's just a bit on a negative side in feeling like this commitment this relationship this communication is not going anywhere she's she or he whoever sits on this energy um is is vibing is in a low vibration meaning to say um she's not looking at a solution she's more focused on um giving up um hopeless not having faith that you know things would work while the other person is more of a fighting energy you know because the knight of sword is rushing back to saving a commitment okay so i felt like whoever sits on this energy will be able to um enlighten up what's you know what sort of um next step to do with this commitment this relationship or this communication if you're if you are dating um definitely there's someone here who wants commitment who wants to reconnect who wants to reconcile and they're rushing back when they come back, um, it will enlighten the energy of this person, whoever sits on this, these two cards. They're not giving up. They're just really on the downside. They're just really vibing in their low, um, low energy, not really, not having faith, not having hope, you know, that, that things could turn around and it could be fixed. This is totally opposite the other person's energy. This is very uh, hopeful, uh, fighting back, um, standing up, rushing back, and, you know, getting things done to connect, to reconnect, or to revive a commitment. All right? So there's, I felt like there's a savior here um, because this person is already feeling down, feeling feeling like it's it's not possible like there's 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 it's an entrapment some sort of like that feeling trapped what to do next so this person will sense this person's energy and they will rush back to save the commitment to save the person and pick them up and um remember and 
you know, kind of remind them that, you know, we're committed. I'm here to commit. I'm here to date you exclusively. I'm here to reconnect. I'm here. I'm coming back. All right. That's the message I'm getting. Now, this is a different kind of, um, um, how does your she feels about me? How does your she feels about me reading? Because I'm going to go round table to all of the sign. So let's ask the universe. Um, how does your she feels about me for Capricorn sign? Capricorn sign versus other signs versus um the other subject sign. So if you're dealing with a fellow Capricorn, um they they're not really being courageous that this would work. So if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they have less input. They're not really putting much of a work for you know for this commitment dating or um relationship now if you're dealing with a taurus this person is not really sincere to you or you might not be sincere to them their focus is not on emotions not really sharing emotions to you if you're dealing with a virgo Um, they are decided to stick with you, to stay with you, to be with you, okay? If you're dealing with a Cancer, Capricorn, they're not ready to begin something new, something passionate to you right now. So it's like a passive energy. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, Capricorn, um, they're really into you. They're um, thinking, um, they're depending on you. They're depending on your reply. There's an energetic, passionate energy here. They want long term. So they're thinking about you. They daydream of you. They look forward to you and this relationship or commitment. If you're dealing with a Pisces sign, Capricorn to Pisces, um, you have a soulmate connection. You have a lot of memories, good memories together. You have children. So... Uh, it's very positive because they want to connect or someone in your past uh, of a Pisces sign will come back. All right. So if you're dealing with an Aries Capricorn. So if you felt like you've been cheated or their deceptive energy, it's saying that it's it's done. They're, they're sincere right now. It's going to progress. It's going to be OK. Whatever doubt you have, it's going to improve. Now, if you're dealing with a, uh, a Leo Capricorn toxic is over so any sort of agree disagreement fighting uh, third party it's gonna be over soon all right so just stick around now if you're dealing with a Sagittarius Capricorn to Sagittarius wow there's gonna be an outcome something that you look forward to something that you are uh, some sort of announcement an outcome an announcement Something that um, will keep you at peace or secured, okay? So that's for sad. So Capricorn to Gemini. Um, it's imbalance. Whatever situation you've got right now, it's saying imbalance. Like you're giving too much and getting less or they're getting... It's imbalance. There, it could also be about um, financial problem. But there's an imbalance in terms of who gives more who gives less or there could be, you know, one of you is not giving the same amount of time. There's imbalance in the communication, right? And it's somehow it connected to finances and effort, all right? So if it's not working because there's an imbalance, one is more into it, one is uh, more, or one is, you know, not making a lot of effort because I felt like the other person, okay, these two cards wanted to come out for you, so I'll take that. So yeah, it's, it's, you know, to progress is that, yeah, for, for you, Satch, there's an imbalance and you really want to move out of that imbalance, but the other person is not really cooperating. There's somewhere else. You're not winning. One of you is willing to like push things, but the other one is not really into making an effort. So there's an imbalance. Okay. Um, so Capricorn to, did I say Gemini? So Capricorn to Gemini, Capricorn to Gemini. Oops. So if you're dealing with a Gemini, 
so they're all out so they're going to cooperate they're all out they are um they're there to share their feelings their thoughts they're they're a team player okay you're a team now capricorn to libra okay this one came out um there's still stress around you um there's still issues and problem but it's more of mental so check your um check it's a more of a mindset your focus on the problem not the not the solution so one of you is overthinking if there's an issue it's because one is overthinking one is more concentrated on the negative side um capricorn to aquarius please So um, they're going to tell you the truth. They're going to announce something truthful. So they're, com they're coming towards you with some truthful message. Or they're saying the truth. Or they want to impl implement the truth. They're being honest. All right? Um, so that's for you, Capricorn. This is how does he or she feels about me in a round um, table. Um, round table sojak sign. Uh, Capricorn versus um, other sojak sign. I hope you get what I mean. I'm struggling to explain. But all Capricorn, all signs reading and how the or she feels about me. So this is for you. Thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you soon again for more of this how does or she feels about me reading Capricorn. Thanks. Bye.